Students, welcome back. Measurement module 6, lesson 6, finding one dimension of a cuboid and cube given its volume. Calculators are allowed. Finding the volume of cubes and cuboids is a topic that we have previously learned. Now we are going to look at it in reverse. If you have difficulty understanding this topic, you may want to go back and revise its basics again. Let us define some terms here. What is volume? The amount of three-dimensional space occupied by an object or an amount of liquid. The units are always in cm cube or meter cube or milliliters or liters. What about, uh, what is base area? The amount of space that a three-dimensional figure rests on. So this is always in squared. So it's 8 cm squared or 24 cm squared. And I will explain this further in the following page. What is volume? Looking at the diagram, look at the diagram over here. The length times the breadth, which is the base area, the length times the breadth multiplied by the height will give you the volume. How is base area calculated? Base area is what? What is the base area defined as? The amount of space that a three-dimensional figure rests on. Okay, so this is the base area. It is calculated by length times breadth. So that is how it is all calculated. Now, knowing that, let's look at the objectives of this lesson. Find dimensions and base area of cuboid given volume. Find dimensions and surface area of cube given volume. And thirdly, find cube roots. Question one, students, look at the cuboid. Look at the diagram on your right. The volume of this cuboid is 480 cm cube. Its length is 12 cm and its height is 8 cm. Find its breadth. Now we know that volume V equals to length times breadth times height or L times B times H. We can actually reverse this formula to find the breadth or we can figure out a slightly more interesting way of remembering the formula. We've done something similar like this in speed. Draw a triangle, write V on top, LBH below. Okay, now if we are looking for V, you, let's use a pointer. If you're looking for V, you realize that it's going to be L times B times H. What if you're looking for B? If you're looking for B, it's going to be V over L times H. If you're looking for L, it's going to be V over B times H. You see how that works? Now, now that we know that how it works, let's move to step one. Step one is this. Let's set up the formula breadth equals to volume over length times height. Let's plug in the figures 480 over 12 times 8. And the answer you get is 5 cm. Do the mathematics and you get the answer, which is 5 cm. And that's your final answer. This is a really, really easy one. Well done. Question two, students. The volume of the cuboid on your right is 280 cm cube. Its base area is 40 cm squared. Uh, given that information, find its height. Now, this is similar to what we just did. Dividing the volume by the base area will give you the other dimension. Now, let's look at the triangle again, just to illustrate a further point, another point. Okay, you got V over LBH, right? Same thing just like earlier. Length times breadth, that's base area. So this information is already given, right? So let's set up the equation now. Height equals to, step one, height equals to V, volume over base area, base area, Let's plug in the figures because we, are, we have been given all the figures. 280 over 40, do the mathematics, and you get 7 cm. And that is your final answer. Well done. Question 3, students, the volume of a cube is 1,728 cm cubed. Find its total surface area. Look at the diagram to your right. You're looking for the total surface area. Now, in a cube, there is a relationship between the length, the breadth, and the height. What's the relationship? They are all equal each other. The length equals to the breadth equals to the height. Okay, L equals to B equals to H. Length equals to breadth equals to height. Now, let's find these dimensions. 
1728 cm cubed which is given is going to be equal to 12 times 12 times 12. Now you go, you're going to ask me this question, how did you get there? Use the calculator and I'm going to show you how to key in. Let's write it down first. We can also say that the cube root of 1728, okay, the cube root of 1728 is 12. Now let's work it using the calculator. These are the things that you've got to press. First press the cube root button, the cube root button, the cube root button followed by 1, 7, 2, 8 and the equal sign and you get the answer which is 12. Okay, now that we know the length of one of its edges, we can find its base area. Okay, base area is going to be what? Length times breadth or even length times length because they are all the same. So base area is equals to 12 times 12, which is equals to 144 cm squared. Now that is the base area of one of the sides. So to find the total surface area, we simply have to multiply the base area times the number of the sides of a cube. So you're multiplying the base area times what? Times the number of sides. So total surface area is going to be, you just calculated base area, right? Which is 144, 144 multiplied by the number of sides of a cube, which is 6. So 144 times 6 is going to be 864 cm squared. And that's your final answer. Okay. All right, students, we are making excellent progress. We have completed lesson six. I've been keeping track of your progress and all of you are doing amazingly well. Well done, you guys are geniuses. Go ahead and attempt the next quiz, ace it and go score.